Algebra 2 CREM, New York State Algebra 2 Regions, Common Core, Polynomials. Question 2. Multiply or FOIL polynomials. Inbox me at kneemedicine at gmail.com to order your complete CREM session. Question 2. Polynomials. The expression 1 over 3x minus 3 over 2 squared is equivalent to 1, 1 over 9, x squared minus 9 over 4, 2, 1 over 9, x squared plus 9 over 4, 3, 1 over 9, x squared minus x plus 9 over 4, or 4, 1 over 9, x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so we want to treat this exponential expression as the product of um, binomial terms, okay? So we're going to do just that. And we're going to express this term squared as um, the product of the base times itself, okay? So the two factors are the base of the exponential expression on the um, right hand, left hand side, okay? So now we can go ahead and solve. So, and the first thing that we're going to want to do is apply the distributive property or simply FOIL the terms. So the first thing that we're going to do is multiply the first two terms. This represents the F in FOIL, which stands for first. And we're obviously going to get 1 over um, 9x squared. And the way you multiply alpha numeric um, monomials like this is to simply multiply the numerical portions and the alpha portions, okay? So again, you get um, 1 over 9x squared. And then when you go ahead and you multiply the uh, outside terms, you get one over X. Let me just show you what we're getting as we go along. Well, you get negative one over uh, two X, rather I said one over X. Okay, and then when you multiply the two inside terms, well, the three cancels in the numerator as well as in the denominator, and you get another negative one over two X. And then when you square or multiply the last two terms by itself, two negative signs yield a positive sign, and three times three is nine, and two times two is four in the denominator, okay? So now we want to go ahead and combine like terms. If we combine a negative one-half x plus a negative one-half x, we're just going to get negative one over one x or negative two over two x or negative x, okay? So this is what we end up with. And this is our final answer. We don't need to further combine anything. Yeah, this is pretty much it. And that's going to be answer choice three. Thanks for tuning in and good luck studying.